Hey, so we're talking about yum yum yum. Um, the so will I call them the teeth, but they're actually the gingivitis, which is a disease you can get. I think it's a gum disease. I haven't done any research on this. So we're looking at these. You can see they've been fairly well used. Pink so will gingivitis. Gingivitis. Okay. If someone knows the correct way of saying that, please send me a message saying this is how you say it. Stop being such an idiot. So what we're looking at is big, big teeth. Whichever way, all five of the holes in the set are great big teeth. Okay, flat backed. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 nice and, they're nice and flat backed. Some of them you'll see actually have a pre drilled, pre countersunk screw hole. And when you look at the, these two holes next to each other, they're about the same size. But this one doesn't have a screw hole. And I'm not entirely sure why. And actually some of them, some of them do have screw holes, three of them have screw holes, two of them don't. Which is a little bit confusing and a little bit, actually, yeah, a little bit confusing, um, but you know, such is life. Now, all of these holes, you're looking at pretty big in-cut shapes. They're all huge. Some of them are more comfortable than others. Um, you know, actually this one you can actually turn upside down and use it as a little, little ledge if you so, see, so, see fit or you can actually undercut it. People have been saying that some of the soil stuff is actually novelty. Um, it's not, it's actually, it looks funky, but they're very, 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 very functional. This one is pretty in cut. This one here, again, is pretty in cut, big double match. And what you're looking at is, even though they look quite funky, the areas here where you're grabbing, despite their being indents, they're actually pretty comfortable to hold on to. The one hold I actually have trouble out of, you know, all of these are pretty similar, you know, they're all big double matches, all really in cut. Except for this one. This one's actually this one's more in cut bits and you know, more in cut but you know, you're gonna struggle to get a match on it. The one hold I have trouble with, and actually a lot of people have trouble with, is this one. And by the looks of it, it's no not really different to any of the other holds. It's all it's all pretty similar, you know two-handed you can match it but when you put it up as a pinch and you're coming onto it and you're getting on sideways I think it was actually that way um, when we're coming in it was actually a little bit uncomfortable to match because this way up it's fine undercut it's fine but when you get on when you get it sideways and you're having to come into it and grab your fingers don't fall quite so naturally the rest of them when you've got them on a side pull they're actually really fine there's really no problems but this one is a little bit strange when you're grabbing it as a pinch or as a side point you're really laying off it. Other than that, you know, usual solo style, bright pink, funky looking shapes, but are still, still very, very functional. Um, texture is different from the blades that we did from um, Jason Kill's line. It's very grippy, and despite these being absolutely caked, these have been to the gym, and they've had feet on them, and we've not cleaned them, and we've had them back on the wall for a, about a month, well, probably about six weeks actually. Despite these actually being completely caked, unbrushed holds, they are still very, very grippy and they're still very, very pleasant to climb on. Cheers.